Hi guys, uh, today we're going to do a video on advanced filtering. So if you haven't watched the regular filtering video, Excel filtering, in my playlist on my channel, uh, you should go and watch that before you watch this as a primer to the whole concept of filtering and uh, how you actually do some basic filtering. Because over here we're going to do what's called advanced filter. Okay, so using the same data set we had for a bunch of these videos, just because it's a uh, it's a useful one, it's a clear one, and it's complicated enough so that we can illustrate so, uh, pretty much all the uh, bells and whistles of all these techniques without getting too complicated to confuse you. Okay, so that's the idea. So to do an advanced filter, you go to the data tab or if you have another version of Excel, just find advanced filter, it should be close to the filtering area. Okay, Click on advanced filter and you'll get this little dialog box. Now the first thing is where do you want the filtering to take place? Do you want it to take place within the same data set or do you want to copy it to a new location? Okay, I'm going to copy it to a new location. The second thing is the list range. The list range, it Excel automatically suggests the data set. But if it didn't, you just click on that little chooser button and select your entire table, including the headers. Okay? Click that little chooser again. The criteria range, which we have not done yet, will set up right under and in line with the data itself or we can also do it on the side if we like okay so we're gonna do that and the last thing is where do we want to copy this filter to and the chooser will allow us to select any area on this sheet or on any other sheet where we want to do the filtering okay and then unique records this will get rid of any records that are completely uh, uh, copy complete copies of each other okay on all fields on all columns Okay, but we won't mess with that. Sometimes that that itself is useful to get rid of duplicates, and I'll do another quick video on that because um, that actually is a very useful trick. But in this video, it'll overcomplicate things because it'll add too many uh, options into what's going on here. Okay, let me just hit cancel for a second, and then now we're going to show you how to set up the filter. Okay, so first thing you want to do is copy all the headers and. I'm going to place them right under, but you could also place them right here as well. Actually, let's place them right there. Okay. Now, under the headers, you're going to give your criteria for each one of the uh, each one of the columns. Okay. For flight, I have no criteria. For total seats, I'm going to say less than 200 seats. Okay. For seat sold, I'm going to leave that blank, which means I'm not putting any filter on it. For status, I'm going to say space available. So only show me flights that have space available. And for type, I'm going to choose international flights. Okay, just make sure the spelling is exactly the same as your original data set. Okay, so now we have what we need to actually do the filter. This is our actual criteria. This is our data set. We're going to make the table come right here, the filter table, and we'll see that it actually does the filtering. Okay, here we go. Advanced under filtering, copy to location. The list range is already selected. The criteria range is what we didn't have last time, and we're going to choose with the headers our criteria and these blanks are important because that's telling Excel that you're not putting any filter on that field okay and the copy to I'm gonna copy this to cell H6 which you only have to choose the top left cell don't worry about selecting a, a, a range it'll fill it in from here down and to the right okay we're going to leave the unique records unchecked and we're going to click OK. So, two of the flights fit our criteria that had less than 200 seats. The seat sold had no filter on it. The status was space available and the type was international. So, you see 
that the filter worked properly. It was flight 301 and flight 320. Okay? Now I can do another filter. Let's say flights that are not equal to 150 seats that have space available and are international. Okay? So I just changed this. This equal uh, less than and then greater than together means not equal for logical tests okay so we're going to go to advanced everything is pretty much selected except where we're going to copy the results to and let's copy it right under this one and let's make sure our criteria is selected properly just double check and let's hit OK. And as you can see, we got flights that had total seats that were not equal to 150. That space seats of it, uh, sold was not a criteria. Space available was the status, and the type was international. So the difference between our first test, or I should say, advanced filter number one and advanced filter number two is that the total seats were not equal to 150 so it took out flight 301 right and also it was this one if you recall required that the total seats were less than 200 whereas this one didn't so the one they have in common is flight 320 okay and we can do another test and just to be complete okay here let's do equal to 150 seats or let's say greater than 150 seats on an overbooked flight that is domestic okay. and let us go to advanced filter we highlight that area already is highlighted the criteria range is highlighted and if we click copy to location we'll select cell H16 as our location and we get flight 95 which has more than 150 seats and is overbooked and domestic okay and one last test that we can do to show that you can actually add uh, multiple arguments to each uh, field is perhaps we can say overbooked and we can say space available and we'd write it right under overbooked and we don't care if it's domestic or not we just care that it's greater than 150 seats now let's hope we have such a flight for our example okay so again advanced filter that's correct the criteria range needs to be expanded because I added another line and the copy to range is going to be cell H20 and let's hit OK and let's see what we get so our only criteria was that the total seats were greater than 150 and we could take a status of either overbooked or space available and you see we get all these are greater than 150 and all the overbooked are greater than 150 so overbooked greater than 150 overbooked greater than 150 and since the second line space available did not have any filter on the total seats all the space available are allowed to be any number of total seats there in other words there is no filter on total seats when it comes to space available and that's where the power of advanced filters comes into play Okay, I'm going to zoom out so you can see this all, and I would I would recommend to maybe switch over to H to the high definition viewing so you could see all these. Okay, 
So line by line, this is treated as one filter and this is treated as a separate filter and you can have multiple lines of filters here, okay? I'll do a follow-up video where I'll do more uh, filters, more lines of filters, but this was an introduction on how to actually use the advanced filters and now uh, I'm going to do a video uh, follow-up on this one which will be more advanced uses of the advanced filter. Okay, it's not going to be much more complicated than what we did on the last filter over here, except I'm going to maybe add a couple more lines of uh, filtering criteria and explain that more thoroughly uh, for all you people who are interested for, for the more advanced technique. Okay, so till next time, uh, subscribe to my channel, check out all my uh, Excel tutorial videos, comment, and let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do. All right, so then practice, 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 and have a great day.